Fair enough, Diane. We're now on the KUSI showroom patio floor where I'm joined by a man who knows more about motorized transportation than any man on the planet. His name is Stahl, Dave Stahl, but we have to change the intro now. Who knows more about motorized and electric, electronic yes. transportation? Because now I'm notice more and more vehicles you're bringing here are all hey, EVs. I was on a press event this week with another manufacturer. Not one, but two electric vehicles. All right. So and they're this, coming. They're coming. And this is the this is the Audi. This is the uh, this is the Audi Q4 Sportback. It's kind of tucked in between the Q5 and the three. A little bit smaller. All 100% electric. Uh, range is a little low, oh, two, I'm getting 220, 230. Per, uh, per charge. Yeah, but I actually, it was 198 when I left the house. Well, that's I, not a lot. I know, but then I got here and it was two, 214. Oh. So I actually gained with regeneration. But again, it's an Audi. If you're an Audi fan, you're going to love the car. You got the beautiful interior. You've got almost a 12 inch touch screen. Oh, I got to get inside. Yeah, this. get in. You got heated seats. And this thing is very intelligent because you were not in the car. Now all you have to do is put your foot on the brake pedal and it lights, and it up. lights up and she's ready to go. It wants to know what driver, you hit continue, and if you hit the little button all the way at the bottom on that screen, that looks like an arrow, Yeah. bingo. Now you're all set, you got navigation, it's got everything you need to know. Well, I want to get to the music. Well, you got some music, you just hit that little button right there, the one at the top where it says it's a prop. Now you just change the channel. Oh, never mind. All right, so, uh, but, uh, are all electric vehicles, as far as the technology behind them, created equal, or is everybody doing it a little bit different? Everybody's doing it a little different. Uh, they're all pretty much on the two-motor mode. This is all-wheel drive, so you can take it to the snow. Mm -hmm. You know, very, very simple to operate. And yeah. as far as uh, the... Uh, the range, going back, the more people you have in it, the less the range is, right? Well, everything everything attributes to it. If you put on the heaters, if you put on, you know, whatever it is, the stuff that you're trying to do, you know, it's all it's all going to affect it, you know? And if you, if you, you just have to kind of learn how to drive it. Let's see. Let's put on some. Because it's like, a, it is like, a, go to 26 is uh, what you're going yeah, to do. Well, what I'm going to um, do is watch the, this. Um, watch this. You want to see something cool? Yeah. Okay. Man, this is like being in the cockpit of an uh, XM26. And it should change me right to where I want to go. And is it going to do it? No. Of course not. It hates me. Uh, all right. Well, um, anyway, you, I'm going to let you leave. Okay. Because I don't me? have the insurance you do. Okay. Uh, Pull it straight how much back. Is it, hey, uh, before we, what does this cost? You're going to look at, uh, this was a base at 538 Test out at 65085. Does that come with all the charging accoutrement or do you have Everything to buy? Everything you need. The you have to buy, you got a 110, you would buy a 220 for your home and it'll totally charge up in about nine hours. Nine hours and it buys me 200 miles. Yeah, then if you go to an extended, you know, the high output, it'll knock that in half. Like if you go to charge point or one of the other services. Okay, in three, two, one, one. gone. Good morning, San Diego, I'll be right back.